Raise your hand if you want to be a millionaire. Well, today's video is about how I'm going to help you do that. A lot of graphic designers don't even think it's possible to become a millionaire, but I can tell you it is. And the first way you got to do that is by putting your hand over your head and saying, I have a millionaire mind. Boom, you're a millionaire. No, it's not that easy. Unfortunately, you're going to have to put in some work. That work is going to require you to read. There's going to be a lot of reading, a lot of wisdom, and a lot of knowledge that you're going to have to not just learn, but then go out and apply. And I've been doing that for the last 15 years. I'm not at that millionaire mark, but I'm definitely coming close. And so what I want to share with you guys today are the 10 books that I think every graphic designer should read. And I've really thoroughly picked these out. I want to make sure that I give you the best possible books that are going to give you the best chance of that success. So let's go ahead and jump into the books. The first book that I have is called U Squared and it's by Pritch Price Pritchett. He's a PhD, he actually has a follow-up book to this, but this one is super short. I like to tell people they need to walk and then cr actually crawl before they walk and before they run. And this is a good way to start building some momentum, start getting your head and your mindset in the right place. This is a very powerful book. I've bought about 10 of these over the last month and I've given them out to people. And every person so far said that this has been super powerful and super transformational. And this was actually recommended to me by Mr. Myron Golden. If you guys know who he is, you know how the level of the he is. So wanted to give you guys this one first, U Squared. You gotta go pick this up. You can get it on Audible, I believe as well, but it's such a short book. You might as well just buy it on Amazon was where I got it. So that's book number one. Book number two is The Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes. I read a bunch of books by like Ryan Holiday, which was, you know, trust me, I'm lying, which is a great book as well. But this book right here, I could take 10 books and it still wouldn't be as powerful as this book was. If you're a graphic designer, understanding the marketing side of your business, because that's what you're doing. You're doing marketing for people. People are having you design something for their business that's gonna help their business grow. They wanna generate wealth off of the talent that you bring to the table. That's why they're hiring you. But without good content and good marketing, you're just a, you got a beautiful piece of art. And what good is it if the message doesn't connect with people? This right here is going to give you the for, the framework and the format to create a ton of success in your life on the marketing side. This book changed my life and I know that it can change yours as well. All right. Book number three is good to great. This one really sells a story of, of creativity and innovation within a business and how important it is. This one uh, took me a little bit longer to read. It's a little bit boring at times, but it's a very important thing to understand. Success leaves clues. And the success of Pixar and what happened with Disney is all about this book. That's what's in this book is the success of Pixar. So I would highly recommend you get Good to Great. If you wanna listen on Audible, you can, but I would highly recommend you read this book, you'll see a lot of thought leaders on their bookshelves. They have this book for a reason. Bob Iger is amazing. This book was written by Jim Collins, but it talks about Bob Iger, Bob Iger and Jim Collins. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about this book, but you definitely gotta get this one. All right, this is number four, right? Book number four is Entree Leadership by Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey is well known in the financial space, but he's also a great entrepreneur and a great leader. He has a ton of wisdom that I have used daily since I read this. I think I read this book originally about five or six years ago. Uh, it really changed my mind and my perspective on being a leader. It made me realize like a lot of the times you, you'll hire an employee and if you haven't hired an employee, you don't know what I'm talking about, but if you have, you'll know what I'm saying is you hire somebody, you put all this time into training them and then a month or two later they leave and you go, man, what's their problem? Was it their problem or is it your problem? This book right here is gonna help you get that accountability and help you understand where you're falling short as a leader. This is the business owner's Bible in terms of being a boss and being a real boss, not just pushing, but pulling and actually leading people and being at the front of the room. So I really wanna make sure that you get this book. This is a huge one for me. I know this can be a huge one for you. Entree Leadership, Dave Ramsey. Pick this one up, you'll thank me. All right, let's jump over to book number five. This one's amazing book as well. I had my wife read this one. I've had a lot of people I've recommended this book. You may have heard of it already. You may have read this one, but if you have read this one, you should go through it a second time. I did recently and it's really powerful. There's so much information in here. It's easy to forget the things. You only retain like 10, 15% of a book anyway. When I listen to it in Audible, I retain more of it. So however you got to read it to retain it, make notes, have, a, have a, a notebook that you can take notes on this thing. This book is filled with gold, 
after gold after gold. I cannot tell you how amazing this book is, but I want you to take this book with a grain of salt because a lot of this is about eliminating people from your business. And I noticed that I did the same thing after reading this book. I started to try to outsource and eliminate some of the client interactions. And at the end, that really hurt my business. So you gotta take it with a grain of salt. There are good things about this book and there are some bad things. There's some things that you know you wanna just take with a grain of salt, but it's really important to understand how you can automate and really make your business more efficient and not just be a slave to a job and actually run your own business. So the four hour work week is highly recommended. It's a best selling book. Timothy Ferris has written a bunch of books like tools for Titans. I highly recommend this one. This is one of my all time favorites and I think you should definitely pick it up. All right. So book number six is Russell Brunson's traffic secrets. Russell Brunson is the founder of ClickFunnels. The guy is incredible. I actually started by reading his other book, Dot Com Secrets first. I would recommend that you probably read that book first as Dot Com Secrets to really understand and get a foundation. And then from there, his next book was Expert Secrets of really becoming an expert and a thought leader in your field. And then the third book, which is Traffic Secrets, really just kind of put the nail in the coffin for me. I already knew a lot about marketing for years and years, but there's so much value in these books. I would highly recommend it. So number six is Traffic Secrets. Number seven is Dot Com Secrets, also by Russell Brunson. Number eight is Expert Secrets. And then number nine, I don't have that book with me, but I've talked about this many, many times in my previous videos, is Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich is a powerful book. I would highly recommend that you get that book. If you haven't read it, read it. Read it twice, read it three times. It's not something that you can ever lose from reading a book multiple times. I wanna encourage you, readers are leaders and leaders are readers. That was a quote that my dad told me when I was a kid. I don't even know who the original quote is by, but it's a really important quote that I've lived by, is the more you read, the more wisdom you're gonna have, the more knowledge you're gonna have, and if you apply that knowledge, it will really change your life and you can have that millionaire mind. So the last book, and I wanted to save this for last because it really applies to being a graphic designer, is Donald Miller's story brand and creating your own story brand. What this is gonna do is if you're a graphic designer, once you have the foundation from the ultimate sales machine at Chet Holmes, one of the last books I want you to read is the story brand book. It's a really good book. It really helps you create a framework around creating brands for people and not just creating the brand, but the story that goes with that brand. And so great brands tell great stories. So I wanna really encourage you. I wish I had the book in hard copy, but I actually listened to that one in audiobook. and there's a, probably been two or three times over the last few months, I've gone back and listened to certain sections of it just to reaffirm some of my knowledge. We forget this stuff, right? We get busy, we're constantly learning, we're doing new things. So get that book. It's Donald Miller's Story Brand. It's an amazing book with an awesome framework. So those are the 10 books I wanted to give you guys. If you read and you read consistently and you make time for that, you show me your calendar and I'll show you your future. We're gonna make a video, we're gonna talk about that in the future with your calendar and planning out your day, but you need to make time every single day to read and to grow as an entrepreneur, as a freelancer, and as a graphic designer, whether you're employed or you're working for yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.